Right, listen up and listen well. First name <laughs> Fuck, surname Mel! Right, listen, tongue twister, I don't fuck with you. Every one of your punchlines is the biggest anti-climax since I met your mum's sister. <laughs> and I cannot wait till you bring out those pre-written nose bottles that you got with you, because I know you got some with you, for when I inevitably say that no club binging, drug sniffers, risk sharing stuff with you. <laughs> hey, and you know what's probably cack? That don't flop this in novelty track. You need to stop all that bollocks, lad. Because chasing viral hype with negativity is disrespectful to your grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know them, but I'm guessing they're not big fans of toxic gas. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, no one is really. <laughs> Israeli. That's on you if you interpret any anti-Semitism. I'm still surfing brown nose like he's slanging heroin. This daft bell end will catch your lever in. He's never popped a shell, but he's shagged a terrapin. Lads, <laughs> you, you shag terrapins and you rape otters. Look at the state of you. <laughs> you shag terrapins and you rape otters. Look at the state on you. With that face on you, your iPhone's facial recognition could be a lot by a plague doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an AIDS victim, and you know look like your scrawny grim joint twin that's also an AIDS victim, although I'm pretty sure that's inevitable when your blood's in the same system. <laughs> but, but wait, listen. Fuck it, you got the personal hygiene of Dave Lister, hence why no women stay with you. Black eyes, leave your face left blue on my right hand red if you try to play Twister. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Lester, Red Dwarf, fucking classic. Shit. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, fucking... Oh, shit, I'd have it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you could... What was the last bit? Dave Lester, man. Yeah, yeah. Play Twister. Yeah, they decided to play Twister. Twister. Hey, fuck it. But anyway, fucking... <coughs> previously, you've shown no progression, just spitting those dead rounds and fucking bringing those uh, pillaging old sounds because <coughs> T kept going in circles like that bit out of Get Out. Yes. The fact is you lack the substance to keep you relevant like minimal tech house in the midst of a cat drought. <laughs> 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 So it's Ken Al. I don't know him well. <laughs> Face like Quasimodo's, but your name doesn't ring bells. Ken Al. Oh. I thought your real name was Carl. Oh, it is. So it's just misspelt because it is Welsh. Ken Al. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get some intel. I heard you were the champ of the Ronalds, but the king fell and lost his belt, and now chalked out in hell. Better bring help. Here's your fifth L. He asked to battle me. He only brought this on himself. So listen up and listen up well. <laughs> I said, listen up and listen up well. First name, fuck. Surname, kid. No. No, you can't say bars and your laughs ain't hard. Your first name's fuck and your last name's Tard. <laughs> what? What? You thought I said it in the worst way, bruv? Nah, your wordplay sucks. That weren't made up. Cause when I come, wait, your first name's fuck. <laughs> is literally fuck Canel. So fuck Canel. I will punch you in the face till my knuckles swell because I knock lightweights out like Chuck Liddell. Mm. See, he loves abusing drugs like a loser does. That's why he always slurs his words like a useless cunt. It's pronounced fucking hell, you stupid fuck. He, pro he probably took the H from his name so he could shoot it up. <laughs> And you once said you have more punchlines than the Family Guy scriptwriters. 
you're dumb as fuck. See, that line there completely sums you up. Because you'd rather have a hundred punches, random jokes, and I hope that one will land and that's just enough. Well, I've written custom-made bars catered just for you that'll fuck you up. See, he's done now. 360, he spun round. This weak dumb clown can't beat tongue down. So with your counting punches, I'm making each punch count. So let's see some now. Let's go. Right, this next one, no one will catch except the older lads. Every syllable you spit sounds like Roland Rass. <laughs> <laughs> with dissimilar, even though we dissimilar, I brush my teeth with toothpaste. This prick, primula. <laughs> but on the matter of cheese, Twist tried to prove that the lad is a G by making a dead proper hard tune about bagging up wheeze. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, lad, that's too gangster for me. <laughs> <laughs> Or it would have been if it had the same kind of impact that Cypress Hill managed to achieve back in 93. Now, I'm sure you've done other shit since, but no other bastard's seen, because you don't come back after Crow gets blasted on scene like Brandon Lee's last ever seen. Whoa. You don't come back after Crow gets blasted on screen like Brandon Lee's last ever seen. See, hey, I basically did most of the second round and the first round to round this. Yeah. Technical difficulties. Yeah, uh, when Brandon Lee's last ever seen. <laughs> See, you're in Come on, Fucking you got this. Right, you ain't beating a dead horse, you're shagging a dead dog. And you know what <laughs> 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 Dead or she's shagging a dead dog. If you know rhymes with battle with press one, the fact you won't get one. I don't want one. I don't want to battle him. He can fuck fucking off. Face right. it, he's not biting. Mate, please stop trying. Fucking Paul McCartney's exes, your fake beef one sided. <laughs> now, Twist has been battling since 1953. <laughs> somehow, still isn't really in his league, literally. He asked for me and I accepted because I'm pretty sweet. <laughs> but you've been battling the likes of Red DMC, Lazy Ass Shaft, really please. Fucking forget begging A list battles. You're fucking Paul McCartney. Not Paul McCartney, that's the other bit. <laughs> You're a Paul and Culkin in My Girl. You get killed by bees. <laughs> <laughs> Although maybe I should print a retraction on account of the fact that was anaphylactic shock and you don't get a reaction. <laughs> I'm trying to work around to the first bit of the uh, first verse here. Ah, shit, what was it? Uh, yeah, I use dickheads like you for target practice because I keep my rounds to the point like a party hat is. <laughs> Dog Scott shadow boxing. I've got some nasty habits involving the likes of you and some battery acid. Fuck off! <laughs> How I know this bloke's a mug. Well, there's nothing wrong with being a stoner or a drunk. I'm always getting pissed and smoking loads of skunk. But he will overdose on drugs till he's comatose for months. Wait, wait, hold on. It wasn't drugs. What's that, bruv? You were in a coma because of a common cold? What a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> See, facing me. <laughs> facing me, that's suicide. It's nothing to do with rhymes, it's just that I have a cold and a massive nose, so if I sneeze, you will die. <laughs> <laughs> you can lose your life, and you've got to get it back. You've been through hard times, a lot of mental crap. You were in a coma and got a memory lapse. Poor kid been through more shit than shocks the rebels flat, and we're not forgetting that. Yeah. Bruh, I should warn you, you look awful. You take so many drugs, you make Raptor look normal. <laughs> See, you can catch Canal at a rave looking like a tie-dye clown, buzzing by the speakers like a shit hi-fi sound. You need to pipe right down and put the pipe right down, cos drugs are bad. No, I'm lying, I'm fucking high right now! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oi, that shit verse was shoddy. 
When you spit words, it's sloppy. Your lyrics are a bit turd and dodgy and make as much sense as the subtitles in Diz vs. Oxy. <laughs> Bitch, learn it properly. <laughs> yeah, it's Canel, dickhead. Mad bastard. The only reason you have a slogan is because you're a spastic and have to say your bars 20 times for anyone to catch you. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 Round three on Canel, let's go. Yo, his show's rule this live freestyle bollocks. Hold it down. Shut it. <laughs> Yo, he shows all this live freestyle bollocks where he tells the audience so you can freestyle about any type of objects, points to someone randomly and asks them to pull some shite for their pocket, and then spits a written on the subject of keys, phone, lighter or wallet. <laughs> now, fucking let me speak to the rappers in here. When you're at a party, nothing hip hop related, normal shit. <laughs> It's not easy, I know. But when you're at a party, nothing hip hop related, normal shit, and someone points out you're a rapper. Oh and you get asked to freestyle. Do that out of the pocket sort of shit. Fucking, I promise that all the pricks fall for it, because it's a decent trick, but a trick's all that is. But if that trick's the only trick you got, you should probably call it quits. In 2002, if someone said his freestyles sound exactly like his writtens, it meant you spit fire. In 2017, it means you're a shit writer. <laughs> <laughs> and I proved that's all you got, so on top of that, you're a shit liar. See, I, <laughs> see, I don't respect your experience. I ain't the type to swear. I could turn up slightly wrecked, like I have done. <laughs> With a round and a half of right in left. And fucking, no matter how pissed or high I get, he's still treated like life or death, then shite the bed all types of wet. Cause he ain't a pre food gazy Ian McCasey, this punk ain't even a minor threat. Wow. True facts, he's not relevant because he never moved past boom bap. <laughs> if he says different, he's lying. I told him about Lil Peep died, he goes, oh, that's terrible. Fucking, I've been a fan of Lil Peep ever since she lost her sheep and didn't know where to find her. Fucking, you know what? You, yeah, rest in peace. You know what? You know what? You need to move on from P.E. and Daylight and get some new bigger idols, although you still look like you need a hit as to why, so check it. He still got Battler at Don't Flop as his Twitter bio. I actually deleted it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I only just caught it the other day. Yes, go. <laughs> All right. Um, that really threw me off. One second. I saw that picture you put online the other day, man. It was of a fortune cookie. But I bet it tastes bland, because when a fortune cookie tells you you constantly struggle with self-improvement, you're a waste man. <laughs> the only cunt to have a fortune cookie call him pussy. Right. <laughs> right. Your life is shit. So tell your friends, or just sit and wait for the world to end. He will never kiss a girl again, cause you smell like a homo. Canal for men. <laughs> Let's go. Right. How are you like nearly 40 but look like a big fetus? You got some. <laughs> How are you like nearly 40 but look like a big fetus? You got some grim features looking like Slim Jesus mixed with Cletus. And you, <laughs> and you ain't the Ronald King. That'll soon be Jacob Solomon, and I already proved I could take it off of him, so there's no way you're gonna win. I came to conquer Canal and break his confidence, make him wanna win. Just say it's okay, it's not a thing, it's not on KLTR. So we ain't got to take it on the chin. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to overstep the mark, but you're weird looking. Don't pretend you aren't. Your chin is so overstretched and large, you look like pamphlet wearing a pamphlet bow selector mark. <laughs> so one of your most recent battles, you made loads of chin jokes. You should never make any chin jokes, <laughs> ever. Because when you make a chin joke, it's always an in joke. <laughs> so just keep it to yourself, or tell it to your chin folk. <laughs> so listen up, Chinel. <laughs> yes. He is the only man who can do a no-handed chin up. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! It's just, hey, hey! It's just, it's just a joke. 
Chin up. <laughs> hey, you are, cool, yeah. you, yeah. up you are such a bitch with a big chin, you put the bitch and chin in bitching. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting a rinsing. Right, I just want to make, I just want to make a toast. Chin chin. <laughs> See, his chin is such an insane size, you could get teabagged by eight guys in a straight line at the same time. <laughs> <laughs>